Hi, I'm Tim Tyler and this is a synopsis of an essay of mine entitled The Intelligence Explosion is Happening Now. To briefly analyse the terminology, intelligence is taken to be skill at transforming sensory input into motor output in order to attain goals using constrained resources. Explosion is meant in a slightly technical sense. The term is not intended to conjure up the idea of destruction. Rather, it is intended to convey the idea of exponential growth due to a chain reaction, the kind of explosion that occurs in nuclear bombs. So, the intelligence explosion of our title should be taken to refer to an exponential increase in intelligence. Here is Eliezer Yudkowsky to introduce the concept. The term intelligence explosion was invented in 1965 by the eminent mathematician I.J. Good, major promulgator of Bayesian statistics. Uh, the core idea of an intelligence explosion goes something like this. Suppose we were to invent brain-computer interfaces that can substantially augment human intelligence. What will these augmented humans do with their improved intelligence? Develop new medical technologies? Play the stock market? One good bet is that they'll use their improved intelligence to design improved brain-computer interfaces. And then, having become even smarter, they can invent even better brain-computer interfaces, and the process snowballs. That's the hypothesis. Intelligence is the source of all technology, so if technology improves intelligence, that closes the loop, and it potentially creates a runaway positive feedback cycle. The purest case of this is a genuine AI, a fully intelligent AI, being able to rewrite its own source code, becoming smarter, and then rewriting its own source code again. A recursively self-improving AI is what I.J. Good originally referred to as an intelligence explosion, although the notion generalizes. A common idea is that an explosion of intelligence will take place on the planet at some point in the future, probably somewhere around the time that machine intelligence surpasses that of humans. Here, I will argue that that is a misconception. An intelligence explosion is happening now, and it's been going on for millions of years. Exponential growth in the size of the largest brains on the planet has been going on since the Cambrian explosion. The effect can be seen in the cranial capacity of the fossils of our own hominid ancestors. In modern times, human intelligence has been augmented by networking technologies that enable minds to be linked together, mind-machine interfaces, and the internet. Both humans and companies have increased their intellectual abilities dramatically as a result of these developments. We can reasonably predict that, in the future, the existing accelerating trend will continue with the advent of superintelligent machines. Machines are already heavily involved in the design of other machines. No one could design a modern CPU without the use of computers. No one could build one without the help of sophisticated machinery. The idea that machines will suddenly take over these tasks when they become smart enough seems naive. Rather, there is a man-machine symbiosis involved in the design of machines, with the man part being gradually replaced by machine elements. Today, machines already do a lot of programming. They perform refactoring tasks which would once have been delegated to junior programmers. They compile high-level languages into machine code and generate programs from task specifications. They also automatically detect programming errors and test existing programs. Machines will gradually get better at these kinds of computer programming tasks, taking over the load from human beings. It is a fallacy to argue that today's machines are designed by humans, and since the intelligence of individual humans is not increasing, the intelligence explosion cannot have started yet. Today's machines are actually designed by networks of humans with the help of machines. The machines are currently improving, and so are the networking technologies that link humans with other humans and with machines. Machines pre-process our sensory data and post-process our motor outputs, and the results are smarter than we are alone. So, machine intelligence will not suddenly surpass that of humans. Rather, machines have gradually been beating humans, an application and domain at a time, for decades now. A machine intelligence that is of roughly human level is actually likely to be either vastly smarter in some domains, or vastly inferior in other ones, simply because machine intelligence so far has proven to be so different from our own in terms of its strengths and weaknesses. So, machines will gradually take over tasks from humans a domain at a time as they increase in competence. These considerations suggest that there will be no terribly sudden intelligence explosion which starts at some point in the future. Rather, the intelligence explosion will be drawn out and it is happening now. In fact, the current intelligence explosion is part of the ongoing technology explosion. 
The technology explosion can be traced back into biological evolution, where pioneering adaptations such as photosynthesis, cellulose, sexual recombination, and so on, can be seen as a kind of natural technology, put together by tinkering rather than by engineers. The technology explosion affects many aspects of organisms, not just intelligence. It started a long time ago and will likely reverberate into the future for some time to come. Enjoy.